let's use Cloak and Dagger here and there. Okay, looks like the two teams are readied up once again. Once okay, again, look, they're restarting the, the round, yeah, so D's Nuts going to be on blue and uh, Poppers is on red. I'll see if they realize to not overcommit to this point. They got everybody at A. And, What's and up? They've got their, their good setup at B. They're actually building the sentry back instead of right in the front like they well, were. Just, you know, but um, that NG's going to go down really fast back. if they don't help them out in a little bit. I said I say, saying hi. And the sisters are doing the same thing. Uh, blue team here is, is pretty much going to expect uh, pretty much the same thing. So they're going to probably right, go in the uh, same movements. Can you wait like... Uh... 20 minutes and everybody over at A. Like now, said, if still casting my red team is out seconds. able to out DM the blue team at A, then I, I, they I need to me. leave lighter classes Let behind, end, okay? maybe wow. leave the soldier wow. behind, okay. and then they need to roll back to B because that's going to be the next effort in the spawn. Alright, it looks like the I want like, looks like D and D's nuts are getting straight onto the red combo, drops the medic, drops the heavy, drops oh the my soldier. God. It's just an absolute the slaughter on the red. There point. are three up. So now look at this decision. Make sure red here, they have to go to B. They should not roll into A. It's gonna be interesting to see anybody open that door to A. Yeah, speaking of speaking of B, they are all, blue team is already pushing straight onto B. The engineer is forced to move his sentry oh, gun. Oh no, he should have just got out. The, sen the sentry gun is down. G and D's nuts are just swarming onto the point. The Uber is popped. The medic is retreating on the rim, but he still goes down. Oh my goodness, it is a slaughter for the team, for D and D's nuts. See, I think this is gonna be like a good case of like prepared versus not prepared. You know, maybe. Uh, proper didn't seek out the right um, strategies, or maybe they didn't have enough scrims. Um, because blue team on this, uh, D&D's Nuts is, looks really prepared. Uh, maybe if they got matched up on a different map, it wouldn't have gone the same way. Maybe they would have been more even. Maybe, uh, I don't know Poppers about that, but we got, we got the blue soldier pushing in with the Confer, storming in with his team, and he is just wrecking the, wrecking the, comp the computer room. Yeah, this is this is a slaughter. I mean, it's it's gonna be hard for them to come back from this. I don't I don't really think they they will. But you know, like I said, it it, it comes back to those uh, those thoughts on this type of map. Like, is this the, something that you know teams and players want to see? You know, do we want to weed out the weaker teams that are not gonna take on the extra effort for this map in playoffs, or do we want to you know let them sing around a little bit and then you know try and uh, have an upset to start? All right, the C point is captured and the bridges are slowly, lo slowly pushing their way toward the E point. Meanwhile, the got blue team is pushing, has gone straight from C and is trying, and then the combo is trying to make its way onto the E point. Meanwhile, we got the red combo, red combo and the scout just tr tr trying to hold this computer here. Where is the? What is the spy doing? He's just standing on the teleporter for blue. Oh, there he goes. Okay. I thought he was trying to take a teleporter that wasn't active. I don't know, but I'm not sure how long the red red combo can hold this point without a new charge. I mean, they do oh, have the watch, watch, watch the blue spy here. He might might get something good. He's really uh, holding yeah, the it. Blue in the, spy uh, is point. being extremely patient. Oh my goodness, he is so close to the red heavy, and he just walked right here. Here he goes, here he goes, he's going for it. Taking it away. Oh my goodness, oh, he, he misses his stab, but he... Oh my goodness, the pistol steal are up the red. The red medic is down, the blue combo pushing in, and the demo is doing a dance taunt. I mean, he didn't get the stabs, but he did distract enough for his combo to roll right through. So that was a, was not a loss. Oh, we got the red sprite trying to make his play onto the blue engineer, but the blue engineer uh, counters him, and now he starts uh, trying to build up the red teleport. I'm not sure that's how it works. And oh my goodness, well, blue heavy is just locking down these spawn doors. We got double caps going down. Four times, four times two on E, we got someone capping D. Red blue medic is is manning up trying to take on this engineer. Now he might use a running away, letting his demo take it. Yeah, that's it. That's it's over. Uh, so they're 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 gonna switch sides now and forty-one seconds. It's around the same time. They're gonna have to beat it. Mission um, and you know I, even faster by about yeah, four, five seconds. I think they can beat them if they understand what they should be doing here. 
there is there is a way to actually beat that yes there is actually a way and that is if they go straight from A and cap E, but that is going to be, that is a tall order for these teams. Yeah, but it won't be fully necessary. They, they can take A, they can take B. It's just going to have to be really like managing the E cap after that point. Rolling all the way into E is very difficult um, for when you're spawning and you die. Uh, because you got to realize that at the start, um, the defense can get into um, E from multiple areas. After you cap A or B, those areas get uh, locked down. Mission begins in ten seconds. Oh, uh, we got that. We got some trash talking coming in from Five, from the uh, four, <laughs> three, three, poppers. Two, one. Okay, we got we got D and D holding holding firm on the on the. On the Looks like they're trying to do a really strong uh, gate, gate point hole, but they're pulling back now. Or at least they're trying. It looks like they're trying to, try, just trying to stall out for as much time. This is what I was talking about. See, they let them take A after they realized they were going to lose classes there, and now they're all in B. Uh, but they did lose the Spy, which is you know, not of consequence. So, uh, you know, now they have everybody yeah, at B. It's going to be really hard for them to roll through. I mean, and Spies are meant to die, you know? That's just how it is. Yeah, spies are Look at all these stickies at the connector. Like, they have so much going on over here. If they try and go in 3A uh, to E, they're going to be pretty in bad shape. <laughs> there goes the pyro. And here comes the combo. This is going to be bad. Okay, yep, really heavy definitely went down. trying to go for E rush. E rush. Trying to push into there goes the demo. The See, it's a funnel, man. They're getting funneled right through into all the spam. Yeah, they definitely need to put to use the Uber to push in. That's the only way they're gonna break in. Now the Uber is pop, like it's only on the pyro. There's no follow-up follow-up damage to the push. See, the problem with steel, and I've been there before, is when you have to beat a really low amount of time, you you almost want to be like, oh god, I gotta go to E, I gotta get E, I gotta go as fast as possible. But they, when you don't realize that the other team knows that you are thinking that way, so if they concentrate their efforts on the, on the connector like they are right now. Um, it's really, really difficult. So if they had just took the drop down and went over to B, they might have a better chance of just out capping B and then moving into E or making decisions from there. You know, just because it's three minutes and forty or three minutes and twenty doesn't mean that you can't still make calculated decisions. Okay, and it looks like we do have some. We do have the blue soldier coming in from from way behind red, really trying, really trying to flank them. It looks like he's trying. Yeah, he's trying to get into the connector from a different route. He's trying. To, he's got a really good flank on the medic. He sees him in the sight. He is coming in and he is forcing the forcing the pop. Okay, red medic is forced to pop, and he's only got a scout now to work it. And a scout is is not is stuck in from the sentry gun. This is interesting. They have a minute fifteen on the clock. I don't think that's going to be enough time to cap here. This this I would call this over. It looks over, and it is, and it seems to be over, but they are not giving up just yet. And Sentry is almost down to the wrangled one over here. He's fixing it back up. Yeah, see, look, see how they're coming in, just flowing in through the spawn right behind them. It's really difficult to cap you this way. Yeah, that's where the, that's where the se double three sentry gun usually sits in the connector area here in the computer. A, a long time ago in, in Platinum, uh, my team was actually able to full cap this point. I think it might have been like season 10 or 11 or so on a, on a team that was probably better than us. Um, really, we um, we forced our way through after capping A into the connector, and they didn't commit enough to the connector to stop us. And we just stickied up their uh, respawn doorway and had some guys watching the other entrances and just rolled onto the end. We were able to cap it less than three minutes, so it was, if I remember correctly. Up and all right, and it looks like the GGs are coming out. We've got the trash talking coming in from the uh, proper poppers. We got the pop. We got the Uber pop coming in from DMD's nuts. <laughs> Got yeah, the, three seconds. We got the scout whip running out with the with the bat, and that is the game. That is it. D and D's nuts take it two to two to zero. That's a it's an unfortunate matchup there. You know, uh, I mean, I wonder like how the team did the rest of the season. Uh, you know, then I'll be able to easily say, okay, they just did not prepare for steel. Um, but they they could also be you know maybe a lesser team. It's it's it's. Uh, I mean, yeah, you can.